Hi folks, Tony at Travel Scoot again. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the brake shoes on the old belt driven Travel Scoot mobility scooter. Uh, there's still plenty of these out there. Uh, they were produced through early 2013, so uh, it's entirely possible you encounter this. Anyway, it's simple enough. Uh, you have a brake shoe that operates like a friction pad on the rear wheel. Left and right are the same. Um, and this shoe is just held on an axle. I'll show you how this works. You, uh, I'm just going to do the right side. Uh, it's essentially the same as the left, um, but there's a little less clap trap in the way, so this is more visible. Come over here with a pair of pliers. You can do this with your finger and remove the little hitch pin clip. You can then push out the axle shaft. There are two bushings in here, two sleeves. You'll want to set them aside, and I'll show you a detail about them in just a second. Remove the axle shaft. You can leave it hanging. Now, if you'll pan in here, you'll see that the brake shoe is captured, or rather captures the wire by this so-called NARP. And what we'll do here is we'll just dislodge it from the NARP. This is actually a new brake shoe. This is what it should look like. It should have nice uh, serrations, nice ridges all the way up and down. Uh, if these are worn off, it may be time to replace it. Anyway, to replace it, uh, I'll have you look in here very briefly. Once again, this curved claw, we'll call it, uh, is supposed to capture this NARP, and we're going to do it as follows. Try to take your pliers and move the spring with its little retaining washers out of the way. Like that. You also notice this NARP will have a set screw in here that pinches the cable. We'll talk about that in a second, or in, actually in my next video. Get that NARP lodged back into that receiver. And now, what we do is we take our spacers. One spacer is just about an eighth inch longer than the other spacer. You want to have the shorter spacer towards the outside of the fork. Run it through the axle shaft. And this longer spacer goes on the inside. The reason for that is we want the brake cable to be pushed away from this larger hole. This is the cable installation hole. Um, and we want to, needless to say, keep the cable over in its slot rather than an installation hole where it will no longer hold properly. Make sure you align the shaft, axle shaft. You can turn it around to where you have access to the small hitch pin clip hole, insert it, and you're done. All right, thanks for watching. Happy scooting.